TG. I love it. And I love it because I love making kids feel like they are the bomb.com. Hey guys, I hope all is well with you. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm a first grade teacher here in Houston, Texas. And I absolutely love, love, love what I do. I've been teaching for 14 years and I still love what I do. However, there are times where I'm, there are things that I love about my job that I love about teaching and things that I dislike about my job. And so I'm gonna talk to you guys about my top five things that I love about my job and the top five things that I dislike about my job. So as you know, I'm a very positive person. And so I'm just gonna start off with my top five things that I love about teaching. And my first one is, is honestly, the kids. The kids truly make you, I feel like when you're a fab teacher, the children make you feel like you are a celebrity. Like when I go into my job every single day into my classroom and I'm walking those hallways, I feel like a celebrity. A celebrity with my own personal students at the moment and a celebrity with former students or students that know of me, they just make you feel so good. I'm, I'm telling you, when you feel down and you feel like just defeated, I'm telling you, those kids can make you feel truly, truly amazing. So that's one thing that I love about my job. You feel like you are a celebrity. <laughs> the second thing I love about my job is seeing the light bulb go off um, in those little minds. Like literally you start the school year off and you're doing all this assessing and um, you're trying to figure out where students are and how you're going to teach them in small group and how you're going to teach them in whole group. And then as you're meeting with those kiddos, it's like that light bulb just, bam, it just, it just pops on. And it's like one of the best feelings, the best things to see when those light bulbs do pop. I just, I absolutely love it. I, I truly, truly love it. And in first grade, I usually see it around the end of January, beginning of February. It's like something just happens and boom, that light bulb just happens. And that, I absolutely love that. Number three, I would say that being a teacher is very, very rewarding because you do see that growth in those kiddos. You see that hard work that you put in, in small group, in whole group, um, individual conferences that you have with those kiddos, and you see that growth. It's very, very, very rewarding at the end of the day. Um, it just, it puts a smile on your face to see that things are working that you're trying, um, trying out with your kiddos. So that's another thing that I love about my job. I all, number four, I would say, and these aren't in any particular order, but number four I would say would be um, just, I love the fact of being able to make kids feel, to show children love and being sensitive to their feelings and to who they are as a person and where they come from. I value their sensitivity. I value who they are as, kids and I, I try to get down on their level to show them that hey miss may gets it miss may understands even if i don't i try to just let them know that i do truly 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 care about them that's what i love about my job like i love making children feel good about who they are as individuals i it's like the best thing in the world and you know, I do certain things in my classroom to make kids feel, you know, to give them that confidence and to give them that love. And, you know, sometimes people are like, do you enjoy doing that? Do you enjoy, you know, whatever it takes. If my kids are happy, Miss May is happy and I can go home happy at the end of the day. So making them feel, you know, helping them feel confident about who they are, what they look like, where they come from. You know, I always, I just love making them feel 
confident about who they are and I love letting them know that Miss May gives a jam about me. And then I would say number five would have to be the the breaks that we get. And I'm not lying to you guys, like us teachers, we do so much work. And I'm not knocking any job out there, any career out there, but I will tell you those breaks that we get come right on time like we have a program at our school called watchdog dads and you don't even understand how many dads come and they say i don't know how you teachers do it i don't know how you do it and you know it's just interesting to see because people often think oh they babysit they're babysitting or oh you get breaks off you people don't even understand what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and why those breaks are so much needed but i will say it is nice to have the summers off to kind of refresh and regroup and kind of you know of course spend time with loved ones friends and family I, I absolutely truly enjoy those breaks in between the year. I, I can't even lie. I love it. So those are probably my top five, not in any particular order, but those are my top five things that I love about being a teacher. Now, the things that I dislike about being a teacher. One is me um, is how much money that we put into our classroom and i'm going to speak for myself so what i dislike is how much money that i put into my classroom and i know i'm not the only one because i work at a school with phenomenal teachers whose classrooms look phenomenal just like mine and we're we're paying for it out of our own pockets and let's be honest you know i don't make a low you know i don't make bad money but i also don't make you know i'm not like this high rolling rich you know, teacher out there either, but we do fork over a lot of our own money. I mean, it's ridiculous how much money we put in, and, but at the end of the day, it's so worth it for those classrooms, but we are so underpaid because, and to get into that is, this comes into the second thing I dislike is that how much overtime that we do, like, the times that I do have a planning time, I do use my, I try to manage my time wisely and what I'm doing and how I'm flowing and how things are going. But at the same time, like when you're trying to make new math games, new reading games, new, you know, tubs and stations and new, you know, different types of, you know, activities for your students to keep that learning fun and engaging you um, you're not doing that from the time you get to school whatever, whatever time you're supposed to be there till that bell rings there's no way and if you know a teacher that does that please tell them to comment below and let me know what they do because i know i spend i'm definitely nowhere near like i used to be when i first started like long long hours but i do do stuff at home too i you know and on the weekends i try not to do as much but you know if you're if you want to be fab you're gonna push in some extra hours after school or before school and even on the weekends so I, those are the two that i dislike and they go hand in hand together um the next thing i would say i dislike about teaching is the paperwork the paperwork is just a bit ridiculous and I consider myself a very organized person and um, you know I, I like everything neat organized put together but at the same time my desk can get piles and the paperwork is just sometimes you find yourself doing more paperwork on a day versus um, you know teaching a small group because you have to fill out this information for this student or it's just a lot it's just a lot so i would say that is definitely something that i truly dislike about teaching um then i would say the next thing i dislike is i would probably say that you know for me you don't get a lot of time just in your classroom just with you just doing your thing as far as planning um i know at my school i really don't get a whole lot of planning time and that can kind of suck sometimes some weeks are better than others but i know that can be kind of a, a bummer because i just i wish 
we had more days like in my mind i wish we could like go to school like monday through thursday or tuesday through friday and monday is your you know your plan day and teachers can plan you know half of the day pd the other half um you know planning out your week you know or planning out the next two weeks so i guess just more personal time instead of you know there's meetings IEP meetings, planning meetings with your team, planning meetings with your, you know, your principals and assistant principals. But I guess it's all different. I guess it just depends on where you are. Um, and I honestly believe that as far as dislikes, that's pretty much about it for me as a teacher. Because I'm going to be honest, guys, I absolutely love teaching. I love it. And I love it because I love making kids feel like they are the bomb.com. I truly do and I love that they love coming to my classroom every single day and they have a smile on their face and um, I, I just I just I just love that like those that know me personally as a teacher they know what kind of teacher I am and I am truly that teacher who loves I'm the one that cares about what's on the inside with them than what's on paper I, I really do so I just wanted to share with you guys and be totally honest with you about what I love about teaching and what I dislike about teaching. So anyway, and I have more loves that I have. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, it is a job too where like, um, here I go rambling, but whatever. I do, I will say guys that I do like the fact that every day is like a new day. Like I have a routine we have a schedule but i'm gonna be honest it's not like a it, you just don't know what to expect every single day it's always something new something different something into the something that comes with the schedule you know we may have to do this instead of this there's always some kind of excitement every single day with being a teacher so if you are out there and you are wanting to be a teacher go be a teacher if it is truly in your heart for the love of kids, you're gonna love it. If you're in it just for the breaks and just by default, cause that's just what it is, don't do it. But if you truly, truly love kids, you're gonna be amazing. All right guys, I will see you and talk to you later on this week. And until next time, Thank you so much for your kind words as always. Thank you for your support. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't miss out on any of my videos. And if you already are, and if you already are a subscriber, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys really, really soon.